Okay, so in this question on Newton's laws, we're looking at a dynamic situation where we have an object or a connected object, or a bunch of connected objects, and they're accelerating upward with an acceleration of 1.5 meters per second. And we have this. Yeah, it's just four different links being pulled by a rope. And um, so the links that we're told are not identical. Um, and they have sort of the masses correspond to the numbers 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg. And then we're asked to determine the magnitude of the force exerted on link 3 by link 2. So there's a long way to do this problem and there's a short way. So we're trying to determine the upward force on link 3 by link 2. So that force is also the upward force on the system of the link 3 and link 4. So the, the much quicker way to solve this problem is to um, combine link 3 and link 4 into a 7 kilogram uh, uh, object. So if we think about the system of link 3 and 4, that's a 7 kilogram total mass. So if we looked at the forces on that particular uh, system, there would be a weight force I'll just use S for system by the earth. And then there would be an upward force. There would be a normal force on the system by link 2. And then this normal force on the system by link 2 is equivalent to the normal force on link 3 by link 2, which is what we're trying to solve for, determine this magnitude. And so if we focus on link 3 only, we have to add in an, an extra force and makes the problem slightly more complicated. So this, this is the method that I would recommend solving for. So we know that the the net force on the system will be equal to the mass of the system times A of the system, but it's also going to be equal to N of the system by 2 minus the weight S E. So assume downward is negative. Um, so the sum of these two forces is equal to the net force in the system, which is also the mass of the system times A of the system. So taking this particular uh, equation here, and see that NS2 minus weight SE equals MSAS. So NS2 would be equal to MSAS plus weight SE, which is equal to the mass of the system and A of the system plus the mass of the system times g, so ns2 would be equal to the mass of the system, a of the system plus g, and then we can solve here, the ns2, as we say it up here, is equivalent to n32, it's going to be the mass of the system, which is 7 kgs, the acceleration of the system is upward, 1.5 meter per second squared plus 9.8 meters per second squared. So N32 is equal to the number is 79.1 newtons. So as I mentioned, this is definitely the recommended method is use the concept of systems make the question a little easier to solve for instead of looking at the three individual forces on link 3 which would be the normal by link 2 the normal downward by link 4 plus the weight of link 3 and it adds an extra couple of steps where if you just combine the link 3 and link 4 into a single system you can only, you only need to focus on two individual forces where the upward force on link 3 by 2 is equal to the upward force on the system of 3 and 4 by link 2 and they would have the same magnitude and then you can just focus in on the two forces and then the net force being m times a and you're given a you have the total mass and then you can end up solving for that uh, force on link 3 by link 2